Voice here, text. If you can share Excellent. Here. I'm getting st starting to work. Starting to work. Tuning. Tuning. Adjusting. I am adjusting. I'm adjusting some of the dials. Hello. Hello. Good. Good. We're getting. Uh, hold on. Hold on. I need to touch the moon. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Hello. Hello. Good. You're out there. Good morning. Good morning, friends. What are you independent from? Look in your heart. Let go of what doesn't need to be there. And make amends. This is Level Up with Louie. You thought it was frozen. It wasn't. This is the magic of Level Up with Louie. Stream of Adventure. Morning Madness, I guess we could call this. There is always a delay in sending a signal from where I am in the year. Let me check my notes here. 12,063, your future, obviously. And I am here with a new earpiece that's plugged in like a Secret Service agent, yes? I'm here with you, good people of the past internet. You may be on Facebook, you may be on Flim Flamble, which is the latest one. Just like medications, in the future, most technologies... Most technologies are made up names. Zenestra, Clybrosol, Darmian, all made up drug names. This is the morning. I hope you woke up today. If you did, blessings, right? Some people didn't wake up today. Where are their souls? What are souls? Do we even have souls? These are not questions that I can answer here in the future. But I can talk to you about some other things. One, I wanted to add some music underneath of this whole journey. But I didn't. Because I only have so many hours in the week. And many of them are spent plugging in the new earpiece. You would be amazed at how every minor upgrade involves a major undertaking it's incredible you wonder why people spend so much on sports broadcasts or a show or a business like money gets spent time gets spent both get burned like multi-wicked candles as you're getting into any endeavor but you know what that's okay that's how humans operate we burn resources to achieve successes. The magic we're trying to get to, the Haftopia I envision, is we uh, burn resources at a rate that our regeneration of those resources outstretches. We're burning here. The regeneration is here, and then we can pick and choose which sorts of resources we use. Anyway, this is the morning. I don't know where you are. I don't know who you are. If you are here, do a shout out in those comments. I know some of you might be getting ready. Let me see again. 1263. I am streaming from the future. So if you are in the past, greetings. Let me tell you something. Things don't end up going as great as we thought they were going to go. That's just a fact. The, pa the past choices you make now 
affect what I have to live with and your progeny have to live with in the future. That's just a fact. William Stoneburner, good day. I come from the future. I'm here to hang out with you and hopefully one of the things we do today is uh, have a sip of water maybe. You always chase water in the morning streams with coffee. Mm. I have a light roast breakfast blend sort of action going on right here. I'm a fan. I don't need my coffee in the morning to be harsh. But the coffee in the later afternoon, I like to be bitter. Like my soul. Good day, friends. Welcome. There is a delay in the streaming and the comments coming back to me that I can pick. Here's how I do. I have a machine that picks up your comments from the past. And because the Wayback Machine saved everything, I just have to go have my AI uh, chat GPT-42 dig through the Wayback Machine. to pull up your comments, but there's a delay in that. Good. Good. Maybe you're out there in the past wondering, hey, what can I do to make my future better? It's a great question. And I want your future to be better. Specifically you. But, here's the thing. We kind of need everybody's future to be better. So, if you could... I'm still figuring out earpieces for streaming. This one is an actual... I'm a secret... Ser like This makes me part of the uh, Section 31, I believe, of the future. And this is physically connected with a cord to the computer. So sometimes I can hear things in here. I get messages from the director. Sometimes what you do in the past not only can help you, but it can help all of us. This disarray indicator over here as you can see, is topped off in the red. Here we go. Topped off in the red right here. And it is full. It's a full meter right now. Things, things aren't great in the future. Not only did we have the robot wars, we have uh, the Abestus dandruff. Things can get better, though. We can get this disarray a meter down, also known as the chaos meter. It's the disarray indicator, chaos meter. We can get this down, and what that does is you making some good personal decisions in the past will help you and help all of us in the future. You know, butterfly effect, things like that. There is 12 thousand and sixty three where I am at I'm in a sealed little empire bunker you could actually we'll cut to, cut to the bunker footage this is what it's like out up, up top outside of the bunker we built this giant monument to the goodness of life Hopefully you just have me on in the background right now as you're getting your fireworks ready for the 4th. Maybe you are throwing a couple M80s on the barbecue and launching a chicken breast in this... Wait a minute. Flip that. Reverse it. These morning streams, in fact, almost all of my streams, are meant to be enjoyed using a Little Empire phone stand as your phone is sitting somewhere off in the distance so you can't turn me off. You, you just have to listen to me. 
Maybe you will have your favorite band playing on another listening device in the distance. Oh, a baseball game this evening. Excellent. You'll notice there is a delay. There's a there's a monster delay from the future. I'll work on that. I don't know if I need faster internet or if I need faster computers or if ChatGP42 needs to get off its lazy butt and just process quicker. Anyway, no matter how it gets done, every week we're bringing you more and more lethal technology here at Little Empire Streams of Adventure Future Madness. The year is 12,063. Why 12,063? You might notice if you dropped off the one, it would be 2,063, which puts me approximately... I don't know what year I'm streaming back to exactly. I'm sh always shooting for... Right right now, I've been shooting for 2022 to 2024. So somewhere in there, this signal is coming back. Jamming down the pipelines like... Met, 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 Max Hedrum. As you prepare for a baseball game. I assume, Jacqueline, that you are putting on your uniform. Getting your favorite bat. And feeling the weight. Getting ready to go to a baseball game this evening. Maybe you are stitching the final stitches in your leather ball. I'm here in the bunker bunker at a little empire. Just trying to make it. Trying to get this disarray indicator lowered. How can you help? I'll tell you how you can help. We have a small list of items here that you can actually do to make this disarray indicator lower to alleviate the pressure of this chaos meter. Don't worry, it will refill overnight. But right now, here's something you could do. To make one of these uh, ticks go down, you could reach out to an old friend maybe somebody who's tried to get back in touch with you recently that's how you should somebody you should reach out to i know i have somebody i'll give them a growl out later i need to get back to them they call we play phone tag a little bit sometimes both busy people in the world but i'll get back to them maybe today i can take that off the list but it doesn't matter what i do you need to do something if one of you could commit to taking a walk for half an hour that can make this chaos meter go down. I've seen it happen. And then also drinking water. Please, somebody in the past, drink this much water today. Just commit to it right now. Go pour it. Don't leave until you've drink this much water. There is a delay at times. Welcome, Melissa. This is the morning where I am. Stay hydrated. Yes, if somebody could commit to drinking that water, we can make this chaos meter lowered. The disarray indicator. We're trying to save the future by doing good things in the past. I have dials to check things. I have this imaginary lever right here. Whoop, 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 whoop. It can't be that imaginary if it has sounds. Terra, yeah. Those are good things to commit to. I, I think already it's... You hear that? Did you see that? The sounds, the sounds and the styles that you're used to do not sync up here. That's how we do it, friends. By making a commitment to doing something just good today, good this week, just... You need to do something good for yourself and good for somebody around you. And I don't know what is exactly good for all of you. This is part of your journey. I just know that if you... Yeah. Organizing the gaming. See? Already. All right. Good. Good. You're doing some things. Stick with them. Make a couple choices. Get them done. The future thanks you. 
I'm interested in getting more future glasses, possibly. Like, these ones are pretty good. Look, you can see the future of the future in these glasses. That's called in-camera practical effects, friends. You don't get that on, on a lot of streams, but here at Level Up with Louie, morning adventures you do. In the future, we added a one to the calendar based on what Kyrgyzstan was doing. Kyrgyzstan means in a nutshell, and they are a wonderful YouTube channel and website that does a lot of science and the philosophies of science and big question idea videos with wonderful simple animation thought cafe i believe does their animations i have a calendar that i use from kyrgyzstan and they added a one to the beginning of it where you might be it might be uh 2023 let's say i don't want to that because human civilization the beginnings of all this ur and uric i talk about a lot i mention 10,000 years ago, 12,000 years ago. Like, put a little bit of gravitas in your calendar, people. Why not? Good job, everybody. Doing a little bit more. Committing to making some good, healthy choices for yourself today is going to improve the chaos. What do you need to do to evolve? Colloquially evolve. We ourselves will not evolve. Like, colloquially, evolution means change and growth. Non-colloquially, in fact, scientifically, the theory of evolution means the change in allele frequencies over time. That's a very dry and almost boring way of doing it, thinking about it. So colloquially, what do you need to do to evolve? What do you need to do to change out of what you were into your new form? Not in a weird, creepy way, but in a Bob Ross, happy magic, Bob, I wish you were here with us, buddy. Oh, man. Look at this. The best is drift. You'd be great here. You would paint this beautiful, unnatural, winter soldier landscape outside my window. And you'd make it come to life. You had a little shed in there. Maybe a little tree for a squirrel. I got, hold on. We are still figuring out exactly what our streaming is. Mostly it's me rambling for an hour and then cutting over to this camera where I doodle something maybe. We just hang out. We go over a couple situations and then I show you, oh my gosh, where is that piece of paper? So, friends, oh, Kara, yeah, make it happen. <laughs> yeah, well. We try for the, yeah, we're, we're trying, everybody. Oh, yeah, paint some minis. Nice. Oh, man. Good, good. I'm. Thank you for just listing out some of the nice things you are going to do today with friends or family. That's, a, that's exactly it. Just, it's important to take a moment to be grateful and think about where you are and what you need to do and where you need to be, how you need to evolve what is your awakening? What is your reincarnation? For a little more on that, let's get a star up on the board 
and go to our first topic of the day. Uh, we are going to look at the Dungeons and Dragons tarot deck, my friends. Uh, I am... I'll be honest. I'm not a believer in the supernatural, but I like the supernatural, to be real. So, that's the quasi-state of knowing and unknowing that I am comfortable in. It's all right. We all have our different spiritual levels. How we connect to the greater, the lesser, the left and the right. I enjoy riding the train of tarot because it lets me think about things and just brings into focus some sort of part of my life that I need to think of. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. You did it. You brought down the chaos meter. You brought down the disarray indicator just a little bit. Good job. That's good. Every time you commit to doing something small for yourself and the loved ones around you, that disarray indicator goes down. Yeah, it might take you several years. That's all right. You probably won't, Kara, if you, if you dive deep and... Do one of those things like uh, making a small independent film. You need to wake up every day at ridiculous hours, put a bunch of time into it, complain, love it, go to bed late, wake up early again, get the project done. Like that's the pattern. If you need, if you need to crunch on something, that's the pattern. The Dungeons and Dragons tarot deck. Wow, isn't it cool that it shows up in the right direction even though it's probably backwards to the camera? I have no idea how that works. I just know I can never point at the right side of the screen. We have some beautiful cards here. First of all, this box is fun. And in no way do they sponsor me or even care that I'm around. That's okay. This deck is not for them. This deck is for us right now. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Introspection. Al, welcome. Can't wait for the future. Uh, yeah, figure it out. Other people need to know that, Kara. People need to know about hoarding. And that it probably isn't the best. And how to prevent and deal with it in different ways. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I would say I'm sorry you're going through that. I feel for you as a fellow human, but I don't want to make it make you think that going through that is something you have to be down about. Sometimes we just have to go through things. And that's that is the life. And that's why we have a tarot deck cuz some days you're like I need a focus. I need a way to uh, think about what the next step is, what the next moment is. How do I even deal with today? Not all of us wake up knowing what we need to do every day or knowing which side of the bed to get out on or even if we should get out of bed. Finding small tools and connections, having small projects is a way that we can Take a step forward. Wow, yeah, never say guys. Oh, I love once you guys start talking and commenting in the side and I'm going off on one tangent and you're going off on another, but those threads interweave to make a maypole tapestry of communication. The Dungeons and Dragons tarot deck. I really wanted to have some music going on in the background, but please. Somebody, if you're not on your phone with this, uh, put on some of your own music in the background. And then in the future, I'll have some of my own. Let me know in the comments if music would work or not, or if you kind of got your own thing going. I'm just going to dig through a little bit of uh, this tarot deck here. You have this cool book. This box is beautiful, right? The black with the gold, little dragon symbols in the corners. Nice inside out like that. That's a well-made box. I like even it's picked up a little, uh, you can't quite see it on that camera. Let me see if I can angle it in there. Anyway, there is a line right where the lid comes across. Seeing a little wear means I've been using it. And I have been for about 
a month now. Look at this. Pull tab. Pull up the deck. Right? Nice deck can sit in there. You have your cards. You have your book. That's a nice setup. It's uh, not too complicated back. It, it doesn't throw off like the back of just the cards. There's no words. At most, there is a symbol. It's a nice deck. And we're just kind of checking it out. Look at this guy. Yeah, it's tough not to be a hoarder. I find myself a collector, if you will. Slightly different than a hoarder, but with hoarder-edged tendencies. Like, I, I do have too many boxes. I have too many small knickknacks. I have Tupperware's full of knickknacks that I have collected in my pockets and on desktops and on shelves from Lego pieces to Star Wars weapons to a cool rock to a small clay frog to a plastic bit that I thought could come in handy for some craft project and then just every once in a while I gather these up. <laughs> yeah, I can never. You can never have too many boxes. You can never have too much stuff. Please don't look in the back room. Please, I said please don't. Oh gosh, you saw it. It's a pile. Yes, yes, yes. There's a collect, yeah. You just collect sometimes. You think about all the things you want to do and get up to. You will think about all the projects you want to make happen. I have already drawn our card for the day. But look at this one. There we go, friends. Walk like the fool. Stepping off with bold confidence into the unknown the fool a lot of people get this card and think that they're doing something wrong but to me the fool has always meant you don't know what you're about to do right but you you need to make that step what a great card for us to come out off the top and this is, this is just our side card. Let's now just go through and look at a couple different cards. Check out some of this beautiful art here. They're fun. Eight of Charisma. Nice card. I'll see if I can focus just a little stronger on that. There we go. A foolish bard. Never. Uh, yeah, Elijah. Hello. Hello, friends. I know you're just popping in. I'm streaming lately on Facebook. I'm going to switch over to YouTube. There's just every time I do a stream, there's some new things I want to make and new things I want to do. So I can only work on one or two at a time because I'm also making product for Little Empire and I'm other things in life. You know, there's always other things. We're just looking at a few of these beautiful cards. Other things in life. Notice they have, like, here's a druid, it looks like to me. Uh, wisdom in the Dungeons & Dragons tarot deck is also known as cups, like in the right, uh, White Rider tarot deck. Uh, wisdom are cups. Intelligence, I believe, is swords. All, I think of that as, like, Occam's razor, which is uh, the simplest, dividing it all up, the simplest most likely is the truth. Uh, the switch to YouTube is coming. It will be announced on Discord. That's, uh, that's, that will come out. I will announce it in multiple places. Like, again, like, all the little pieces are coming. I need to advertise more. I need to make announcements. I need to set times and streams. Like, every week, I, I do one more thing 
to make the whole system better. This week I got this earpiece, which is a 50-50. It stays in better, but there's certain volume controls I don't like. So it's like two steps forward, one step back. Uh, the Hierophant is part of the Major Arcana, the Tower. There's only about 22 cards in the Major Arcana here. Charisma is uh, coins or pentacles. Earth. Major Arcana. Strength. Is wands. So in a uh, classic tarot, there are wands, swords, cups, and pentacles or coins. And that would equate to wands is strength. Intelligence is swords. Wisdom is cups. And uh, charisma is coins or pentacles. Interesting. One thing I'm finding with these tarot cards over quote-unquote traditional tarot cards is... A traditional tarot card, if you've spent any time doing tarot, you know the story a little bit. And you can re pull the story of the meaning from the card. How many players are on the card, uh, male, female, where the swords are, where the cups are, if there's a veil behind the card, different colors, different things. And then they flow throughout the cards, like in the, the classic weight rider deck. Oh, man, this disarray indicator. Guys, somebody out there, please, here. Somebody out there, commit, commit to eating no extra sugar today. Could somebody out there do that? Could you not add extra sugar in your coffee or drink today? I know it's tough. I love me a little bit of sugar in my coffee. Sugar, why don't you put your finger in it? Which is a weird thing to say. So... The Dungeons and Dragons deck, a great, interesting choice for uh, Wizards of the Coast and Dungeons of the Dragons. I think it's a fun one. I, I like Tarot. I like Weight Rider. It's the classic. There's a other couple great, great decks. Thank you. Uh, but this one's a beauty. This one's a beauty. And here's uh, one of the extra fun things of this deck is in the book. It gives you a little bit about the card, and it gives you a little bit of a prompt of how you could use that card to start an adventure. And even in the beginning, it has you how to set up an adventure spread, how to make a story out of three cards that could lead into any adventure. Let's just see what the fool's adventure said. The Fool, first card. Uh, great on all of us for pulling that one. Great. Great job. My human hair in the future still doesn't get its S together. All right? You encounter a gnome who says that if you follow him... He'll lead you to a wondrous treasure. <laughs> Today's card. Let's get that little level up with Louie music in the background just because I like it sometimes. A major arcana card. Judgment. Just like much of tarot, the word is not what it means right off. It isn't judging you. This card is not saying you're being judged. This card is saying you need to make judgment. Also, tell me if that music gets too loud. 
You need to make judgment on things in your life. You need to press forward or pull back. It is awakening. Redemption. Redemption. Renewal. Yes, I'm looking off to the side to make sure my spelling is correct. You need to... Hold on. Hold on. Ah, sorry. Sorry. We have some sort of static in the system. All right. I recently... And for the first time actually using this deck, pulled this judgment card and it did help focus my brain a little bit. You do sometimes in your world need to think about what your next evolution is, what your next transition will be, how you can become the next. It's Thinking about from the D&D book, the Tarot of the D&D book, our capability to discern what is truly important and use it to weed the garden of our life. Pardon me. <coughs> oh. I knew it. Tuning. Tuning. There we go. There we go. A hill giant is sleeping off a night of drinking. Inside, a chainmail pouch on its belt. You can hear someone whispering for help. That's a fun... A chainmail pouch? Tara, I believe you make chainmail. Our capability to discern what is truly important and use it to weed the garden of our life. There's a little fella in that chainmail pouch. What is the little fella in your chainmail pouch whispering to get out? How can you make good choices? Not out of anger, not out of frustration or sadness. How can you use your good judgment? that you have cultivated and crafted. This card is here to tell you it's time to use that judgment. It is time to evolve. It is time to change and move forward. <laughs> I believe Kara, who does some chain mail. Kara, I don't know if you've ever met Keith Keith Barch. I'm going to give a growl out to Keith. Oh, sorry. There's the growl out face. Good job. Oh, sorry. More growl outs. Sometimes all the buttons make it a little confusing. Oh, let's see. Oh, we did it. The meter. Everybody. Good job. You're making some good choices. So slowly, the chaos meter is going down. Uh, Keith Barch, he's a chain mall artist in North Carolina now. Also Virginia. That's how tarot works. I just wanted to jump in and show you sometimes. I, I have a list of about 
10 things every week and I choose two to three of them to have a star pop up here. And we kind of go over that and that that's one of them. The Judgment Card Tarot, that star, super fun deck. Just think about that a little bit. Again, this has helped me just focus some mornings. I pull a card and just let it guide my thoughts for a little while. And that's... Here's... Here's where I give some power to the supernatural. Even though I don't like using that word. I, I will use the... Um... Philonatrical, uh, philosophical, natural interface between the stories we tell as a civilization to ourselves and the ways we've dissected and grown our minds. I, I, that's a lot of crazy words, sure. What I like to do is I put the card of the day up top, so I always remember what that day's card was. Or that day before. I, I will go to the tarot. Recently I've been going for uh, two weeks. It was every day. Now it's about every other day. And again, look at this nice system and box. Good job, D&D &D tarot. Yes, there are many chain, chain mail people around. Good people. Good people, those chain mail people. Strong fingers. We've been here almost an hour just hanging out. This is Level Up with Louie Morning Rituals. This is just where we hang out and chat. I give you a little bit of food for thought. I hope to inspire you like I have been inspired by others in the past to have a good day. Be good to each other. We're not done. I don't know how much longer you guys have, but I, I'm scheduled for at least another 20 minutes here. Another star we're going to put out is a couple things I am grateful for. And it doesn't have to be big things. If you're grateful something for something, shout it out over on the side. Let other people know what you could be grateful for. It's important to wake up and think about gratitude. Uh, when you go to have your Thanksgiving meal, somebody says grace. Maybe you're a family that says grace for every meal. And the idea is to give thanks. Uh, for me, it is to the people and the places and the ideas that brought that food onto the table. So for others, it is to a higher power. And for others, it is something else. The joy of having 8 billion people on this planet is there's probably 8 billion different ways to do things. But there is probably only like 10 ways to do things right. So get it together. I want to give a, a grateful for, okay, a couple things that I've been grateful for in the last week. Uh, one, Star Trek Picard, the show. It has given me some nostalgia, given me a couple wonderful tears that I need to get out right in my eyes, give me a little bit of them feels. It, for me, was, um, I don't want to spoilers, so... It was it was solid way to see and feel all that magic again. Good job, Picard. It's not for everybody. I don't know if Picard, if you, I am a deep Star Trek fan. Like uh, I, I believe at this point, I'm saving Strange New World, Stranger, uh, Strange New Worlds. I'm saving a couple of them for the future as more episodes come out. I've seen a lot. I'm deep in the lore. I watch Quinn's Ideas. I watch uh, Orange River Productions, where they there are YouTube channels that talk about the magic of Star Trek. So I go deep, and so I know all the Next Generation episodes. I know all the Voyager episodes. So like Deep Space Nine, those three I am deep in. Classic Trek, I know enough. I have seen every single one. Uh, almost every movie, I believe. But Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, and Voyager were like, mwah, to me. So, Picard, if you are deep into those, Picard will be a treat for you. I think it will. I think you'll enjoy the roller coaster that is Picard. I did. 
and there's a lot of good feels in there. So thankful for that. Grateful for Picard and that I have the ability to watch that. I did have to sign up to Paramount Plus and they'll probably get me. Like I signed up for a free month, but they're going to get me. I'm reading a couple comments. Gosh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Learning from the elders. Uh, tarot. Tarot is an introspection tool. And that's, again, I give it, I give it credence because it is an introspection tool that people have been reading the bones and reading tarot and telling stories to each other for uh, 10,000 years. Solid, if not 20 to 30,000 years. So we have developed in those tools and talks we have grown our minds to think a certain way and we have analyzed our minds with the games and the toys we play with. Uh, one of those being tarot and not a game or a toy and belittling it, but just the ways we, uh, that's one of the ways we can introspect ourselves. Does that make sense? Again, I'm not a big, if that light goes out behind me right now, I'll believe in the supernatural. If that moon goes out right now, I will believe in the supernatural. If that moon goes out right now, I and many people will believe in the supernatural. And that's why I don't believe in the supernatural. <laughs> Great. Yeah, learning from the elders, learning from Voyager. Carrie, you might be, yeah, who's, they're not for everybody. Like, not everything is for everybody. That's the joy of it. We can all find some magic. I'm finding some magic with all of you. Some people would be on this stream. Some people pop in and they're like, what is this guy going on about? Why does he have a fake lever? Why? It's for me. It's for you. Not, not for everybody. That's the joy of it. We have enough people, enough things. Everybody can have something good. Everybody can have something fun. I am also grateful for an offline poker game where I have no consequences and I can just press buttons and bet cards and go crazy. And there's, I could just get lost into watching some YouTube shorts and playing some phone poker offline. I'm grateful for that right now. And then also, uh, there's another small game I was playing. I don't know if you remember Lemmings. They're like tiny little creatures, uh, like that little guy. But uh, Lemmings, they would just walk in a direction and then you could put something down on the screen like, don't walk here. And once that Lemming got to that point, it would stop and tell other lemmings that are walking to stop and go back the other way. You could have a lemming build some stairs for you. So if you needed to get up onto a platform, you uh, have that lemming build some stairs. A very simple game from the 90s, early 90s. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Trek, everybody, that's the nice thing about Star Trek too. They've touched on so many different stories. You could be in the world of Trek and... Uh, like one thing where somebody else likes another. I just like it all because I, I don't know. I don't know. Just giving cred to Roddenberry. At all. At all. So, Lemmings is a nice little puzzler. I can play one or two levels because I don't want to pay for anything. And that's all the energy I can use. And it's just a little puzzler. Uh, simple, kind of like the poker game where you can just distract your mind for a little bit. Get lost in it. And then come back to it. So I'm grateful those things for those things. I know I can get lost a little much in doom scrolling and online games. I don't. I stopped playing video games many many years ago. Every like every five years, I'll pull one game out that I'll play through. But I go deep on video games, so I know I have to stop playing. I can't bring them into my life. Like I can't buy cookies and chips. A bag of them and bring them home and not eat them all so I shouldn't just I, I can't bring them home and that's just like video games I can't bring it home 
Except for cell phone games, I try to find ones I can pop in and pop out because I know my brain. Yeah, some games from the past are better than games of the future. That's great. So they're bringing them back on our phones and we just have to pay three bucks a pop for them. What is your awakening? What is your redemption? What is your renewal? How do you turn things around? What is your evolution? Now we're getting down towards the last thing I wanted to talk about today. If there's anything you need to talk about, never feel that you can't reach out to me. I have a Discord that I'm trying to figure out things. Did you feel that? I have a Discord that I... What is that emotion? When somebody goes, hey, I... That's... Paying attention to the noises you make and your facial cues and the way your body tenses and ebbs and flows uh, is like reading the tarot. You pick up on something and then you can start to pick it apart. Evolution. It's real. It's a scientific fact that over time, species change. It is a fact that in the past, There was a less diverse state of life on Earth. It is a fact that... Oh, somebody out there just committed... What did you do? All right, if, here's, here's the things. We just have one more indicator on the chaos meter, the disarray indicator. If you could... If you could... Okay, here's one other thing. Commit to not bringing your phone in the bathroom today. Can you do that? Just do it. Don't bring the phone in the bathroom. That will make the chaos meter better. That can make the future better. You making small choices now can make your future better in the future. And in, in not just your future. The idea is if everybody's making small choices to uh, strengthen themselves, Wakanda forever, uh, then we can snickety snick have a better world for everybody. That's how it works. Not in a Borg sort of way. Don't get any ideas. Evolution. So, if you're like me and you believe the big book of science and you rationally accept some of the ideas that people have generated for the last few hundred years, especially since the Enlightenment, you know that the universe is super duper old. Like, I have some gray hairs because I'm getting old. The universe is like pure white hair everywhere because of its oldness. Almost translucent at this point. The age of the universe, 13, 14 billion years. The age of our Earth and our sun and our solar system about four and a half billion years ago. The planetary disks, accretion, sun. We went over this in the past. Uh, sun makes a helium fusion, a hydrogen fusion that then starts to produce the elements. Already heavier elements we're in from past stars exploding. Here we are. 
four and a half billion years ago. And then, four and a half billion years. Evolution. What, what does it work on? It works on genetic codes and genetic structures. We all know we have a DNA strand that is a double helix. Right? And in that strand of DNA are genes. And those genes are made up of uh, ACG... A C P T A C G P Ah Chat G P T No, they are made up of uh different molecules. I just forget what their names are off offhand, but there's only uh four or five base molecules that make up the genes. The genes are a little sequence of DNA that we can we can see the, the beginning of and the end of. And when you have genes, they code for proteins and molecules, mostly proteins, they start coding for that then uh, create life. Super simple, right? Not that it is super simple, but I said it in a way that almost makes no sense because it's silly and stupid. And how would we even know this? We, we know this because we've looked at it like deep. Genes, you can picture the DNA sequence and you've probably seen uh, like a lines of DNA and they go like this and one's a little darker here and they go like this and one's a little darker there. And they're getting the genes. When you have a gene in a certain area, like the gene that codes for eye color, different versions of that gene exist. They're so similar, but they're off by one of these letters or just changed a little. And those are called alleles, uh, which is from allelomorph. Hmm. Sometimes the connector for a thing is like that. Allelomorphs uh, changing over time. I don't know exactly what allele is, but what Allah mean uh, I, I know Allah but uh, Aliyah anyway over time so evolution what's the time scale how could you even go from single celled organisms or tiny tiny phytoplankton to humans evolution does not mean that one day a cat will give birth to a dog or that a whale gave birth to a shark or that a wolf gave birth to a dog, or that a dinosaur gave birth to a chicken. No one of us will evolve. Evolve, evolution happens in populations over time. <laughs> one wisdom tooth, yeah, no, that's great. One wisdom tooth is an evolutionary step. How did that happen? These alleles, that code for things like eye color or if you have a tail or possibly feathers or if your arms are a little longer uh i believe this is called uh phenotypic traits uh the phenotypes outward experience uh, that this is what nature works on oh gosh i'm going to give you like the super stupid version of evolution so take everything I'm saying and go do the research. I'm just trying to give you, I'm saying you're evolving. We're evolving. Judgment, cards, moving on. We are making the magic happen. Life's hard, man. Let's evolve. Colloquially, like we, we can't evolve. I was just saying. Anyway, back in the past here, uh, billions of years ago, check. Origin of life, possibly. Uh, basic DNA, single cells, action going on. So we have here uh, three and a half billion years ago, the beginnings of like 
what RNA life, there's DNA, like it's incredible. And we have figured out a lot of how this, we don't know exactly the exact start, but we know everything. Just like the Big Bang, we know the next thing after the start, which is incredible till now. We can follow through. Um, and that's with fossil records. That's with testing in laboratories. So uh, then we go. This is, this is an incredible jump. Self-replicating molecules, possibly. We go. Time. It's acting like this. Single cells, RNAs, DNAs, single cells coming together. I'm just taking my time because it's slow as heck. Like, this is molecules and DNAs. Single cell life, possibly. What does that mean? It just means it's a small cell of molecules that have merged. Look how slow I'm going. This is the time. This is the time. Billions of years. Multicellular life. Nothing popped out of the ooze and became a fish on land. No. No. This pretty much is all ooze for billions of years. Like, again, colloquially a little bit. Time. Time is still going. This is all just molecules, cells. We're just starting to touch on the idea of, oh, we could have more than one cell in our system that could give us advantages on randomly wandering around oh we have multiple okay we have a, some multiple cellular life 4.5 billion heavy bombardment i believe uh four billion years ago molecules are like oh i guess we can start forming on the surface of this planet or some are brought there by asteroids there's molecules that are now here at about three and a half billion years ago pardon me have to sneeze i can't mute my mic when i <coughs> so you pretty much just don't see me sneezing all right we got one more one more everybody get that disarray indicator down get that Chaos meter lowered. Here. This. Okay, this is not multicellular. This is just life. Like beginning art. Like all those billions. All those billions. All those billions. Just starting to think about what could multicellular be? And around here. 700 million years ago. Is multicellular life. So nothing popped out of ooze and became man nothing like this took billions of years and then all of a sudden all the life we know once you've seen this happen you've seen a grain of sand or i can think of you know those coin machines where you put a coin in the back and there's always this arm the churning of the universe the planet that's pushing coins and you drop a coin and it goes and it ends up in the back and it pushes some coins around but no coins fall all right and a little bit later you put more coins in churn it a little different maybe one or two coins fall but enough of that churning and enough coins in the back eventually a whole cascade of coins fall out of that machine and you win that's what's happened here when multicellular life arises all of a sudden, we win prizes. Things start to get created. 541, the Cambrian explosion. This was when multicellular life Yeah. Yeah. What was that sound? What was that sound? Oh, friends. Friends, look at this. The disarray meter indicator the chaos meter is lowered well done what a beautiful situation good job everybody 
You did it. You brought it down. You helped save the future a little bit by making good choices today. And we're evolving. Two hundred fifty million years ago, almost the dinosaurs. Twenty million years ago, first apes emerged. Three million years ago, homonyms. Homonyms. Hominids. Homonyms. Ah, uh, they could be homonyms. Anyway. Once we figured out multicellular life, we started to really crank and crank and go. We as in all the life on the planet Earth. Dinosaurs showed up. Uh, we have all the magic. And then humanity. Like if you look down here on this whole big time scale, all this line. You can see tiny. This The thickness of this line right here is 10 million years. The thickness of that line. So you think a million years ago, where we started, look at that, that's a, that's 10 million years. That's a long time, y'all. So if you don't change in a day, don't be mad at yourself. If you have any questions about this basic evolution, I'd be happy to pretend to make an answer. That was section three, our third star. We have a tiny, tiny little spider here, friends. Let's see if we can get him to evolve. There he goes. Uh, you can see him. There he goes. Tiny spider, friends. So there we go. A little nature cam for everybody. Come on out, spider. You can have a whole page to yourself. There you go. There he is. All right, tiny spider, go. Yeah, tiny spider. Don't go this way. No, nope, don't go this way. Oh, tiny spider. Friends... If you're having a hard time evolving, don't worry. It takes a long time sometimes. It's tough to... Spider's not going to be squared. It's tough to do all the things you need to do. You'll be okay. Take a little bit of time. Figure it out. You only need to rush into trying. You don't need to rush into finishing. You need to rush into making the choices. You don't need to rush into knowing the answers. A lot of what I say here is just is for me as much as it's for you, I'm sure. If you happen to find any... Uh, Any magic out there in the world, send it my way. And if I find any extra magic, I will send it your way. It's been another strange Tuesday. And we're going to do some more Dungeons & Dragons live streaming on Fridays at 9 o'clock. Just like this stream, I'm figuring out all the little things I need to do to make that stream better. And every week will be a little bit improved. But already, I feel like we've gotten off to a great start and we know what we're doing now. I'm going to switch over to full YouTube. I'll be announcing about that. Make sure you get out there and do good things for people you know and like. Make the magic happen. But most of all, look inside. Figure out what you're screaming about. Figure out what hurts and make some choices that can make that better.
One of my choices was coming to hang out with all of you. That makes me feel better. So thank you. I appreciate a little bit of time and energy put this way. If you want to throw anything, if you find like an extra, uh, like five dollars in your uh, summer PayPal account, you could throw it my way. No pressure. Uh, if you want a and d adventure, you could go check out that. I got some up with my buddy Jimmy. If you want something from Little Empire, I have very little up there, but it's growing. And there are some free character sheets you can actually find up there. If you want to come play D&D &D with us this Friday night, I'll be streaming here from the Little Empire Studios. Mostly friends. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to each other. And don't forget to level up. I'm working on hitting the music. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for hanging out for a little while. Don't let the chaos consume you. Weed the garden of your life. Goodbye. And then I'll do this. And then I'll go, goodbye.